When watching a movie, it's fascinating to realize there's often much more beneath the surface, certain scenes stirred controversy, while others contained intriguing details, facts, or even historical references. In today's video, we'll go scene by scene to uncover all the 43 hidden details in the 2023 Barbie. I'm Alan. I'm, uh, I'm Ken's buddy. Yeah, all his clothes fit me! <laughs> Alan's remark as he charged at the construction Ken's was a clear nod to the original quote found in Alan's doll box when it was first released in 1964. He's Ken's buddy and all his clothes fit him. Yeah, all his clothes fit me! <laughs> <laughs> In the initial plan, the idea was to display a sign that simply said men working. However, actor Michael Sarah, with his comedic flair, saw a fantastic opportunity to inject some humor into the situation. Sarah playfully suggested a clever twist, replacing men working with Ken working, turning it into a witty pun. I've been in a dream where I was somehow really invested in the Zack Snyder cut of Justice League. When Greta Gerwig was asked about Zack Snyder cut of Justice League line, the filmmaker admitted she didn't fully realize the appeal that the Snyderverse had and it wasn't her intention to take a shot at the movie which released on HBO Max in 2021 after years of campaigning from Snyder's dedicated fanbase, and it was simply a light-hearted jest, and she meant no harm by it, stating, I don't have a dog in this fight. Oh, hey. You've caught me reading. Oh. Marco Robbie's choice of gift for Ryan Gosling to help him get into character as Ken was rather intriguing, something he playfully described as the strangest present. The gift in question was John E. Jean's Man and Horse. The long ride across America, interestingly, Gosling delved into the book and found himself captivated by its contents. He was so taken by the story that he couldn't help but imagine it as a potential cinematic masterpiece if ever brought to the big screen. Yes? I'm ready to be your long-term, distance, low-commitment, casual girlfriend, if you'll still have me. Do you just hold on for one second? Oh, okay. Sublime! The moment when where Ken shouts sublime in reaction to Barbie's offer was improvised by Ryan Gosling. Doesn't seem to matter what I do. Doesn't seem to matter what I do. The song I'm just Ken proved to be one of Barbie's most surprising achievements, accumulating a remarkable 87 million Spotify streams since its release on the streaming platform on July 21st. The interesting thing is that the song was written by Mark Ronson primarily as a joke. The composer, in a surprising twist, disclosed that he initially created a demo for Greta Gerwig with no anticipation of it being part of the soundtrack. However, it was none other than Ryan Gosling who recognized the song's potential to enrich Ken's character and suggested that it be transformed into a musical number. Before we continue, if you enjoy the video, we'd greatly appreciate it if you could consider giving us a thumbs up, subscribing to our channel, or even sharing the video with your fellow movie enthusiasts, your support means the world to us. Guns N' Roses iconic guitarist, Slash, generously contributed his extraordinary guitar talents to the track I'm Just Ken, he graced the song with his remarkable solo at the conclusion, songwriter and composer Mark Ronson was thrilled when he reached out to Slash with the song, and the guitarist enthusiastically agreed to collaborate, stating, this is a good song, cool, I'll play on it.
The Ken's riding on imaginary horses across the Kendom led by Gosling's Ken as the sound of hooves follow them, is a humorous reference to the famous recurring joke in 1975 comedy Monty Python and the Holy Grail in which the knights travel the countryside riding fake horses while their squires hit coconuts together to imitate horses' feet. I'm a five foot nothing grandma with a double mastectomy and tax evasion issues. <laughs> Nobody looks like Barbie. The tale of Ruth Handler's arrest for tax evasion unfolded as she along with three other former Mattel officers made false statements, misreporting Mattel's earnings by as much as $20 million. This unfortunate chain of events resulted in Ruth's indictment in 1978 on charges of fraud and false reporting to the Securities and Exchange Commission, ultimately. Ruth received a sentence of 2,500 hours of community service and a $57,000 fine. Name? Oh, I'm Handler, comma, Barbara. At the end of the movie, Barbie takes on the name Barbara Handler, paying homage to the daughter of Ruth Handler, the creator of Barbie, it's worth noting that Barbie's actual full name is Barbara Millicent Roberts, and this adjustment was made as a tribute to Barbara Handler. We hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, we would greatly appreciate it if you give it a like, subscribe to our channel, and activate the notification bell for more videos like this, your feedback is also important to us, so feel free to drop us a comment if you think we missed any details, thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.